The air crackled with anticipation. The entire city seemed to be holding its breath, waiting for the moment that could define a season, a year, perhaps even a generation. Winnipeg, a city that lives and breathes football, held its breath. The streets were empty, the shops closed early, and the only sound that echoed through the city was the collective heartbeat of its people. The Blue Bombers, a team with a storied past, stood on the precipice of history. One game, one win. Decades of triumphs and heartbreaks had led to this moment. The players could feel the weight of their legacy on their shoulders, the echoes of past victories and defeats ringing in their ears. The West Division crown awaited. It wasn't just a trophy. It was a symbol of hard work, dedication, and the relentless pursuit of excellence. The players' faces showed a mix of determination and resolve, each one knowing the significance of what lay ahead. Across the field stood the Montreal Alouettes, a proud team with their own championship aspirations. They had their own dreams, their own stories of struggle and triumph. They had come prepared, ready to give everything they had. They had come to Winnipeg with a fight, ready to spoil the party. The clash of titans was inevitable, each team bringing their best to the field knowing that only one could emerge victorious. The tension was palpable, the energy electric. The stadium was a cauldron of emotions, with every cheer, every gasp, adding to the intensity of the moment. Fans from both sides were on the edge of their seats, their eyes glued to the action unfolding before them. This was more than just a game. It was a battle for supremacy. Every tackle, every pass, every play was a testament to the skill, strength and spirit of the players. The coaches paced the sidelines, their faces etched with concentration, knowing that their strategies and decisions could make or break the game. The players on the field gave it their all, driven by the desire to etch their names in the annals of history. This was football at its finest, a true championship on the line. Zach Kolaros, the Bombers' field general, exuded calm amidst the storm. With every snap, he read the defence like an open book, his eyes scanning the field for the perfect opportunity. His leadership was the anchor that kept the team grounded, even in the most chaotic moments of the game. His arm, a weapon of precision, slung the ball with purpose. Each throw was a calculated risk, a testament to his skill and confidence. The spiral of the football, cutting through the air, was a sight to behold, a symbol of his unwavering focus and determination. Kenny Lawler, a magician in cleats, danced past defenders, his hands like magnets to the pigskin. His agility and speed were unmatched, making him a constant threat on the field. Every catch was a masterpiece, a blend of athleticism and artistry that left fans in awe. Nick Dembski, a blur of motion, slashed through the heart of the Alouette's defence. His movements were a symphony of speed and power, leaving defenders grasping at air. With every step, he carved a path to victory, his determination shining through. And then there was Sergio Castillo, the kicker, his leg a cannon, his nerves of steel. In the crucial moments, when the game hung in the balance, he delivered with precision. His kicks were not just points on the board, but statements of his resilience and poise under pressure. These were the heroes of the night, their names etched in bomber lore. Each player, with their unique skills and unwavering spirit, contributed to a night of unforgettable moments. The crowd roared in approval, their cheers a testament to the bond between the team and its fans. 
Together, they created a legacy that would be remembered for years to come. A celebration of excellence and teamwork. The game unfolded like a heavyweight bout, each team trading blows. Touchdowns were met with touchdowns, field goals answered in kind. The lead changed hands like a hot potato, the momentum swinging back and forth. The Bombers' defense, a ferocious unit, fought tooth and nail. Every yard was contested, every point hard earned. The Alouettes however, refused to yield. They matched the bombers' intensity, their own stars shining bright. As the game clock ticked down, a new opponent entered the fray, the weather. A biting wind, straight from the Canadian prairies, swirled around IG Field. The temperature plummeted, the air thick with tension. The once familiar turf transformed into a treacherous, frozen battleground. Passes that once soared now fluttered. Field goals, normally routine, became adventures. The elements, it seemed, had chosen to play a part in this epic drama. Section 5. Destiny's Call. With seconds remaining, the score deadlocked. Fate placed the bomber's destiny in the hands of Sergio Castillo. The wind whipped around him, the hopes of a city resting on his shoulders. The snap was clean, the hold steady. Time seemed to stand still as Castillo approached the ball. The crowd, a sea of blue and gold, held its breath. This was it, the moment of truth. 